Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, I wish to manifest that the third picture is the picture of the passport of Alice Goo, issued by Chinese government, where the name of her mother, Lin Wen Yi, is indicated, and she is described as the dependent of a holder of a special investor resident visa. Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, I wish to manifest that these documents are evidence to show that indeed the nationality of Ms. Goo is Chinese. This is something which opened the country to issues of national security and interest, Mr. Chair. The next to interpolate in the list, for those of you who have not signified their intention to propound question to our resource persons, please ask the committee secretary uh, so that you will be listed in the list. So ang unang magtatanong uh, sa, uh, uh, ay ang ating uh, Congresswoman uh, Jinky Luistro. You are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I wish to address my guest questions to Alice Goo. Ma'am, pwede po bang malaman yung totoong pangalan ninyo? Your Honor, ang pangalan ko po, Alice Lial Go. Alice Lial Goo. Would it be okay with you kung tawagin kitang Alice? Yes po, Your Honor. Alice, before ka na naging mayor ng Banban, gaano katagal ka nang nakatira sa Banban? Uh, Your Honor, um, hindi ko po maalala yung exact years, pero matagal na matagal na po ako sa Banban. Can you at least give me an approximate length of years? More than 10 years ba? O more than 20 years? Uh, more than 20 years po. More than 20 years. And you will agree with me that 20 years is stay in Bamban is really long enough. Diba? And I would assume also na imbibe mo na ang kultura, ang pamumuhay, at maging ang ugali na mga taong nakatira sa Bamban. Tama ba ako? Can you please enlighten us Ano ang kabuhayan doon sa Bamban 20 years ago? Uh, Your Honor, um, nakatira, po, nakatira po ako sa Bamban. Pero as what I mentioned din po sa Senate before, nasa loob lang po kami ng farm ng pigiri. Hindi po kami masyado lumalabas. Pero as what I understand naman po sa municipality po ng Bamban ay farming po. Farming is the main industry in Bamban. Uh, Ma'am, if I'm not mistaken po, farming and quarry. Farming and quarry. Alin ang mas lamang? Yung bang farming or yung quarry? Uh, Your Honor, tingin ko po farming. Kasi and marami pong farmers. Mas marami ang farmers kesa sa mga quarry workers. Tama ba? Yes po, ma'am. That was 20 years ago. Now let's move a little forward. 10 years ago. Kumusta ang buhay sa Bamban? I believe 10 years ago, ganun pa rin po, Your ganun Honor. Ganun pa rin. Opa. So would you agree with me if I would say, kung anong buhay ng mga taga Bamban 20 years ago, ganun pa rin ang buhay nila 10 years ago? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. How about before you became a mayor? Anong kabuhayan sa Bamban? Uh, ang kabuhayan po sa Bamban, maliban po doon sa na-mention ko po na farmer, ay meron din po ibang nagtatrabaho po sa Clark as workers po. And would you say na ang buhay sa Bamban for the length of 20 years, madali ba o mahirap para sa mga mamamayan ng Bamban? What do you think? From the point of view of an ordinary resident of Bamban, Bago ka naging mayor, how do you appreciate the life in Bamban? Madali ba? Masagana ba? Mahirap ba? Uh, 
I believe, Your Honor, um, hindi po madali para sa kanila. At tingin ko rin po, marami pa rin po yung mahihirap. So, you will agree with me if I would say, mahirap ang buhay sa bamban. Your Honor, tingin ko po hindi naman po lahat, pero for sure po, meron po. Alin ang mas lamang, ang mahirap o ang mayaman? Uh, Your Honor, mas lamang po ang mahirap. Mas lamang ang mahirap. And soon enough, Mayor, tumakbo ka bilang Mayor, di ba? Tama bang isipin na because of your observation na mahirap ang buhay sa bamban, na antig ang kalooban mo, na awa ka sa mga tao, na ngarap ka para sa kanila, ng kaginhawahan? Tama ba yun, Mayor? Your Honor, that's one of the reasons din po. So you confirm na ang dahilan kung bakit tumakbo kang mayor, gusto mong paunla rin ang mga tao sa bamban. Your Honor, that's one of the reasons po. Opo. May I know, Mayor, nung na-elect po ba kayo, ano pong type of municipality ang bamban as to income classification? Your Honor, uh, second class municipality po. Second class municipality. And if you still remember, magkano ho ba ang kita ng LGU ng Bamban being a second class municipality? Uh, Your Honor, I have no figure po. Uh, and hindi ko po maalala po yung data po. But nevertheless, Ma'am Alice, you recognize the fact na iba kung hindi ka mayor, iba kung mayor ka, kung ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang pangarap mong mapaunlad ang bamban. Tama ba yun? Opo. And the reason kung bakit ka tumakbong mayor, gusto mong paunlarin ang bamban because you believe na pag naging mayor ka, marami kang pwedeng gawin sa bamban. Tama ba? Opo, Your Honor. And one of these things that you can do in bamban, you can invite and welcome investors. And naniniwala ka rin na itong mga investors na ito, itong mga business establishments na ito, ito ang magpapayaman sa banban at ito ang magpapaalwan ng buhay ng mamamayan ng banban. Tama ba? Uh, ang belief ko po ay pag nakapag-invite nakapag po ng more investors po sa bayan po namin, mabibigyan po ng mas maraming work opportunity po sa mga constituents po namin. And let us move forward, Ma'am Alice, 2022. Tumakbo ka na at umupo ka na bilang mayor. Of course, you confirm that because that is a common knowledge. No? I'll be showing some pictures, Ma'am. Huh? I hope you please enlighten us kung sino itong larawan na ipapakita ko sa iyo. I am referring to the picture on the right of the monitor. Opa. Alice Leal Goo Bamban. Opa. Kayo po ba ito? Yes, Your Honor. And can you please enlighten us? Ano po ba ang nakasulat dito sa poster na ito? Uh, Your Honor, ang alam ko po dyan, yan po ay isang newspaper po na from the, I think, Chinese community na kinakongratulate po nila. Yung daddy ko po, yung dad ko po kasi isang Chinese. And why are they congratulating your dad who is also a Chinese? Um, sila po yung, ano po eh, uh, since Chinese, tingin ko po since Chinese po sila at uh, nag-congratulate po sila through Chinese newspaper. I consulted some people who know how to read these Chinese characters. Mm -hmm. And according to them, the exact translation of these characters goes like this. Congratulations to the first Chinese mayor, Alice Lial Goo of Bamban. Uh, Ma'am, wala pong ganun nakalagay. Okay. Can we proceed to the next picture? Can you please enlighten us? Who is in this picture? 
Uh, Ma'am, for that question po, uh, I think I cannot answer. Uh, I invoke my right against self-incrimination since may pending case po sa akin about the citizenship. About the citizenship. But you, would you agree with me if I would say, kamukha mo yung nasa picture? Uh, Ma'am, I will not confirm po. Let us proceed to the third picture. The third picture is your passport from the Republic of China. Do you confirm this? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I'm not confirming it. Uh, I have eight pending cases on the court. Uh, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po, Ma'am. Sorry po. Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, I wish to manifest that the third picture is the picture of the passport of Alice Goo issued by Chinese government where the name of her mother, Lin Wenyi, is indicated and she is described as the dependent of a holder of a special investor resident visa. The mother is even described as from Fujian province. And uh, I wish to go back to the first picture, Miss Alice Goo was described also as from Fujian province. And I understand that Miss Alice Goo acknowledged only the first slide and refused to identify the second and the third slide. Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, I wish to manifest that these documents are evidence to show that indeed the nationality of Ms. Goo is Chinese. Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, in order to realize her intention, run to a public position, bring growth and prosperity to the municipality of Bamban, including the people who live there at, Ms. Alice Go allowed, if not she's the one who purposely caused the same, the late registration of his birth, and even the application of her Philippine passport. I understand, Mr. Chair, that the right to run to a public office is a right which is exclusive to Filipino citizens. And I wish to manifest as well that this should be dealt with by law because this is something which open the country to issues of national security and interest, Mr. Chair. If I may proceed, Mr. Chair. Bilang Mayor, Ma'am Alice, in line with your vision, paunlarin ang bamban, bigyan ng kaunlaran ang tagabanban, ano po ba ang mga kumpanya na dumating sa bamban during your time? as mayor of Bamban? Uh, during my time po, dumating po ang Jollibee, dumating din po ang McDonald's, um, dumating din po si RCS po na isang supermarket chain, and supposedly may mga darating pa mga uh, factories and um, restaurants po, ma'am. And would you confirm that it was also during your time no dumating ang Baofu? Uh, no po, ma'am. You don't? Ang Baofu po is not 2022 po, ma'am. But the business permit signed by you shows the date October 25, 2022. Uh, ma'am, I think may previous po na mayor's permit. Nag-start po Let yan. Let me rephrase my question. Therefore, yeah. it was during your time nung na-renew ang business permit ng Baofu. Do you agree to that? Uh, and sorry, Your Honor, anong year po? 2022, October 25. October 20. Uh, I, I, I think po. Opo. You are the mayor already. As a matter of fact, if the secretariat can show the business permit, the business permit of Baofu was signed by Miss Alice Goo in her capacity as mayor. And would you confirm as well Na yung Zun Yu One Tech, 
dumating din at naisuhan ng business permit during your time? Your Honor, uh, I, I issued the mayor's permit for Zunyu 1 because uh, mayroon po silang pack-car license po na pinakita po sa amin. May we direct the resource speaker, Mr. Chair, to limit her answer to the question. The question, Ms. Alice Goo, is pinatototohanan mo ba na sa panahon mo bilang mayor, June 27, 2023, na create ang Zunyu 1 at na issue ang business permit. Your Honor, I issued the permit for Zunyu 1 with the attachment of PACCOR license po nila. But you confirmed that you issued the business permit. I issued the business permit with the attachment po ng PACCOR license po nila. Thank you. Thank you How Honor. about Hongsheng Corporation? When was this established? Your Honor, uh, for Hong Sheng, I'm not sure with the exact date po. And you will agree with me also that during the Senate hearing, etong tatlong kumpanyang ito, whenever you are being interpolated, palaging nababanggit. Yes po. Tama ba? Yes po. Can you enlighten us? Ano po ba ang naging koneksyon, partisipasyon nyo dito sa tatlong kumpanyang ito kung bakit parating nababanggit ang mga kumpanya na to? Uh, Your Honor, to, I think 2018 or earlier, hindi lang po talaga ako sure sa exact year, uh, the, the land of the Baofu uh, belongs to me. And I saw. What year is that, Miss Alice? Uh, ma, uh, Your Honor, 2000. 18 or 19? 2018. You are the owner of the of land, land of Baofu. Of the land. 2018. Yeah, 18 or 19. You are not yet the mayor. I'm not yet the mayor. Okay. In 2021, uh, I divest the entire property to the corporation. Po. And can you please cite the exact date when you divested yourself of your interest in Baofu? 2021. September 21, 2021. Uh, I, I believe so, po, ma'am. And that is seven days before you filed your certificate of candidacy for mayor of Bamban. Okay. What, therefore, is the significance of your ownership of this land with respect to Baofu, Hongsheng, and Sun Yuan? Ano pong kahalagahan ng pag-aari nyo? Uh, Your Honor, um, after year 2021, uh, I owned the land before year 2021. After year 2021, wala na po pag-aari. Hong Sheng, I don't belong. Zun Yu Wan, I don't belong din po. What therefore is the connection of Bao Fu with Hong Sheng? Uh, Bao Fu and Hong Sheng, um, as what I understand, Bao Fu is the property owner and Hong Sheng is the license, licensee po. How about Bao Fu and Zun Yu Wan? Bao Fu and Zun Yu Wan, uh, I think uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, um, the documents they showed us is um, Zun Yu Wan um, list the par partial, I think three floors of Bao Fu. I think we have the contract of it. In other words, Ms. Alice, even the buildings which are erected on the lands are owned by Baofu? Tama ba yun? Um, Your Honor, I think I'm not the right person to answer. But as what I understand po, from the documents uh, we get from Zunyo 1 before, yes po. You mentioned earlier sometime in 2018 to 2019, ikaw ang may-ari ng lupa. Yes, ma'am. Then sometime thereafter, nilipat mo sa Baofu. Uh, we form a company. Um, ang pinaka-share ko is the property. Ang usapan po namin... What is the name of the company? Baofu. Baofu. Yeah. And when we... The initial plan was housing. However, nung ang usapan ay maglalabas na ako ng... Nang, nang in cash initial agreement was only the property ang pinaka share ko and nung usapan ay maglalabas na ako ng pera hindi na po ako pumayag I divested already 
And okay. after that po, uh, hindi ko na po alam. Matagal ka nang negosyante, Alice. Tama ba? Uh, Your Honor, yes po. And uh, I wish to share the list of the companies owned by GoO Family. Secretariat, please. As a matter of fact, based on my research, your family own 11 out of 12 listed companies, no? The significant observation, Miss Alice, ang may-ari nung 11, lahat family members. And I would assume na mas komportable ka na ang kanegosyo mo ay family member. Tama ba yun? Uh, Your Honor, yung nakita ko po sa harapan ko po, uh, hindi po lahat sa akin. And then, or sa But akin. your name is listed. Um, yeah, yung isa po dyan ay yung one, one, two, three. Yung iba po dyan ay hindi po nag-operate. Hindi po natuloy yung mismong company. Nevertheless, would you confirm that majority of these companies, your name is listed as one of the owners? Yes, Your Honor. And the names of your family members are likewise listed as one of the owners. Do you confirm? Uh, yes, Your Honor. In other words, Miss Alice, sa usapang negosyo, naniniwala ka na dapat ang kasama sa negosyo, kilala mo? Yes, Your Honor. Naniniwala ka din na dapat ang kasama sa negosyo, pinagtitiwalaan mo? Uh, yes, Your Honor. At bago magkaroon ng tiwala, dapat kilala mo na. Tama? Yes, Your Honor. And you will refuse to join any business dealings or business venture kung hindi mo kilala ang mga taong kasama mo. Tama ba? Yes, Your Honor. As a matter of fact, very significant itong list of companies na to. Ayaw mo nang hindi mo kilala. Because most of the incorporators are family members. Do you agree? Uh, hindi naman po sa ayaw ko. Most, at uh, least. Okay. Most. ba? Mm -hmm. Ang maliwanag, alis, hindi ka sasama sa negosyo kung hindi mo kilala at hindi ka nagtitiwala sa taong kasama mo. Uh, yes po. Correct. Now, I wish to invite your attention to the Articles of Incorporation of Baofu. Secretariat, kindly flash. Nakikilala mo ba itong dokumentong ito? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. This is the Articles of Incorporation of Baofu, yes, correct? Po. Yes po. How about the signature across your name? Do you acknowledge that that belongs to you? Uh, yes po. Yes. Do you know Bao Ying Lin? Uh, Your Honor, uh, I think for the Baofu, uh, I invoke my right against self-incrimination because I have pending case po with DOJ human trafficking po. Pero kanina lang, ang sabi mo, Miss Alice, you will not join any business venture unless kilala mo at pinagtitiwalaan mo ang mga tao na fellow incorporators mo. Tama? Do you yes. still confirm that? Uh, I confirm that, Your Honor. And that is enough, Miss Alice. And yes. And now let us proceed to the next incorporator. Please flash the articles of incorporation, please. Do you know Ru Jin Zhang? I invoke my right against self-incrimination po, Your Honor. But again, I, I wish to po. remind you, Miss Alice, of your earlier statement. Ang sabi mo, hindi ka sasama sa isang negosyo kung hindi mo kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang mga fellow incorporators mo. Your Honor, since may pending case po. Uh, I understand. Opo. Now let us proceed to the third incorporator, Zhang Wang. Do you know him? I invoke my right po ulit, uh, Your Honor. For the information of the committee, Mr. Chair, ito pong si Bao Ying Lin, fellow incorporator ni Alice Go O, sa Baofu, Baofu Corporation is convicted of 3 billion Singaporean dollar money laundering. And this after she made the statement na hindi siya sasama sa isang negosyo kung hindi niya kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang mga kasama niya. With respect to Ru Jin Zhang, Mr. Chair, he is likewise convicted of 3 billion Singaporean dollar money laundering. Again, this is after her statement 
na hindi siya sasama sa isang negosyo kung hindi niya kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang kasama niya. The third incorporator, Ziang Wang, Mr. Chair, used to be with Hongsheng Corporation, whom after the 2023 raid was charged of the crime of cyber, cyber crimes. Again, this is after the statement of Miss Alice Goo, na hindi siya sasama sa isang hanap buhay kung hindi niya kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang mga taong kasama niya. I wish to manifest, Mr. Chair, that this representation humbly submit that Ms. Alice Goo purposely ran for public office in spite of her knowledge that she is not qualified, she being a Chinese national, to be able to welcome business establishments which she believes will bring growth and prosperity to the people of Banban and this business establishment includes Hongsheng, a pogo operator, and Yun Zuwan, also a pogo operator. As a matter of fact, Mr. Chair, dito po sa location ng dalawang company na to, which lease the property of Bao Fu, with whom Ms. Alice transferred her land in exchange of shareholdings sometime in 2021, while maintaining control of the same after the same date, dito po nahuli ang maraming Chinese nationals who are now charged of the cases of money laundering and even qualified human trafficking, Mr. Chair. Uh, Your Honor, if I may, just a short interjection. Eh, para lang ma matanong ko lang si... Uh, Miss uh, Alice Go, yung bang mga nabanggit na mga pangalan ni Congresswoman Luistro, si Ziyang Wang, si Rujin Zhang, at saka si Bai Yong Lin, uh, did you say nakakilala mo, kikilala mo sila? Mr. Chair, ang kakilala ko po dyan talaga si Huang Ziyang. Si Wang Ziyang. So is this the same Wang Ziyang na nabanggit ni Congresswoman Luistro na nakonvict sa money laundering? Cyber. Cyber. As a cybercrime? Siya ba yun? Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi ko po alam na nakasuhan po siya ng cybercrime. Oh. Okay. So, ito uh, ba sila ay ano, nas galing sa isang probinsya sa China? Mr. Chair, um, nakilala ko po si Wang Ziyang sa Clark. Sa Clark. Opo. But you know, nag, mga galing sila sa China. Yung dalawa po, hindi ko po kilala. Okay, sige. Thank you. Uh, you may proceed, uh, Congressman Luis. No? There are speculations, Miss Alice, na itong Hong Sheng, ang Bao Fu, Zun Yu Wan, and you are one and the same. Do you agree? Totally not agree. Totally not. Listen to this. September 16, 2020. You signed the application in the Sangguni Ang Bayan of Bamban in behalf of Hongsheng, applying for franchise, license, and permit. Uh, Your Honor, I did not sign any documents po. You did not sign. I did not sign. However, I nakalagay po yung pangalan ko po dyan as representative, but I did not sign any documents po. Would you know kung sino ang naglagay ng pangalan mo? Your Honor, I have no idea. You have no idea. Next, Miss Alice. February 11, 2021, you executed a lease. Perhaps this is over the property of Baofu. With Hong Sheng, and during that time, Hong Sheng is represented by Telma Laranan. Do you confirm this? Your Honor, regarding Bao Fu, I invoked my right against self-incrimination po. Third, Miss Alice, early 2023, Hong Sheng was raided because of cybercrime. And one of your fellow incorporators in Bao Fu, which kanina sabi mo, doon mo transfer yung lupa mo sa Bamban. 
one of your fellow incorporators, Zhang Wang, nakasuhan ng cybercrime. Do you confirm this? Your Honor, uh, hindi ko kinong-confirm. I have no idea nakasuhan po siya ng cyber. And after ma-raid itong Hongsheng, Zun Yuan Technology applied for a business permit on the same address, on the same location. You were the mayor, you issued the permit. Do you confirm? Ma'am, I issued the permit with the attachment of Pagkar license. I understand. But what is apparent, Mr. Chair, well, there is a document where Alice Goo is described as representative of Hongsheng back in September 16, 2020. This is the first POGO operator. It was followed by a contract of lease signed by Alice Goo with Hongsheng. And then this was followed by the raid of Hongsheng, which was replaced by Zun Yu Wan, which Alice Goo provided a business permit in her capacity as a mayor. I wish to share to the committee the doctrine of piercing the veil of corporate entity because it is very clear, Mr. Chair, Hong Sheng, Alice Goo, Bao Fu, and Sun Yuan are one and the same. Mr. Chair, I'm about to wind up, but I have a few questions left. Can we please show the last slide of two personalities with last name Yang? Secretariat, please. Alice, kilala mo ba to? Your Honor, hindi po. Can we flash the next picture? How about this picture? Your Honor, hindi po. Hindi ko rin po nakita, hindi ko po siya kilala. The first picture is Michael Yang, and the second picture is Hong Jung Yang. My question for you. Bakit may joint account si Hong Jiang Yang, kapatid ni Michael Yang, at si Yu Zheng Kan, na manager ng Hong Sheng? Your Honor, uh, hindi ko po alam yun. To wind up, Mr. Chair, I wish to make a very short manifestation. This representation might sound repetitive already, but it is apparent that this long chain of perpetration of the crime started with the abuse in the late registration of birth. Ms. Alice Goo was able to procure a birth certificate from the Philippines and even the Philippine passport, which paved the avenue for her to run to a public office. I urge the House, let us strengthen our rules because if the loose Rules on Filipino citizenship, including the rights attached to it, which must be exclusive to Filipino nationals, then we will be at the behest of the perpetrators of illegal activity. To add, Mr. Chair, the fictitious birth certificate even paved way to solicit identification cards from different government offices. That includes the DFA, the BIR, the LTO, and the similar government offices, Mr. Chair. Second, Mr. Chair, the layering by way of registration of various documents, making it appear that they are legit corporation, makes it harder for the Philippine government to verify and even monitor the illegal activities of these foreign nationals, Mr. Chair. So I wish to suggest that we install a monitoring system with the SEC we wish to recommend to the SEC that they install a monitoring system to make sure that the application for registration is legit, the operation is genuine, and the location is indeed existing. Third, Mr. Chair, illegal activities and illegal POGOs will not proliferate if they are not able to transfer money. So I humbly suggest as well, Mr. Chair, that we tighten our rules on anti-money laundering. Hindi po sila makakapag-perpetrate ng illegal activities if there are no funds which will fuel their illegal activities. I submit, Mr. Chair.